scheduling service work is similar, but a little more complicated because you've got recurring visit patterns that you want to set up. But element scheduling makes that pretty easy. Here, this time I'm going to schedule a job from the actual job screen itself. So when I've got a job open, I can go to schedule and I'll see here that I've got no work right now scheduled for this job. So I'm going to go down here and say add to calendar. And again, the first step is to pick the calendar I want to add it to because I could be scheduling any type of work. Here I'm going to pick lawn maintenance. Now it wants to know what task on this job I'm scheduling. This job has two tasks, mowing and enhancements. Because I'm scheduling lawn maintenance, I'm going to pick the mowing. Again, it knows the number of visits and the man hours because it's pulling that from the job in element time, which is also pulling that from the original estimate. Next, I want to pick that visit schedule. So I could set up a custom schedule that's going to take me a long time on every job. So if you've set up predefined visit patterns, I can just pick the type of contract this customer has asked for. In this case, I'm going to set them up with the gold mowing contract. Now, given my gold settings, it automatically knows which dates to start and end and when to go weekly and not weekly and the days between visits and that we're doing a cut. All I need to pick is what day of the week they want to be scheduled for. And in this job, I'm going to pick Tuesdays. So I'm going to go next and it sees the man hours from the estimate and the scheduled number of visits and how many man hours per visit. All I need to do is really pick the crew. And I'm going to schedule this job to lawn crew A who has three persons. So it's going to look at the total number of man hours per visit and divide it by three to come up with a productive time per visit, how much time we should actually be spending on site, and some unproductive time, which is for drive time. When I click next, it's going to show me an, a summary of all the dates it's going to schedule. The time factor is going to either add or subtract time from the average time per visit, commensurate with how much time we should be there for those specific visits. So we're saying in April, not growing too quickly yet. We're going to be there a little less time. May, when things really start heating up and we see the growing season take off, we're going to be more there more time, back to less time again in the heat of summer, and then back to a little more time in the fall. So when I click finish, not only am I going to have a schedule, but you can see over here the duration, the time we should be at site, will change at different types of the year. So I'll get a pretty accurate picture of how long my crew should be there during the growing season, and during the hot season or slow season when things aren't growing so well. We'll click finish and we'll click OK and it will create a schedule for me. And if you click the details right here on the job, you can see all the different dates that were scheduled for the entire year, which crew it was scheduled for, what type of visit it was, etc. It's also really easy to change your schedule for service work. For instance, if you wanted to change the weekday or the crew that was assigned, even if it's right in the middle of the schedule, you can grab any visit and starting from that visit onward, it'll make the changes, or you could just do that visit specifically. Simply click the edit button and choose whether you want to edit this particular visit, which is edit today. And this will allow you to do things like change today's crew or the amount of time you should be there. Maybe you got asked to do some extra things where you were there. You could move today's visit to a new date, like a new day of the week, or you could just delete today's visit entirely. Or if you want to make changes to the whole schedule, click the edit schedule button. And from this visit forward, it'll make these changes like reassigning the crew, changing the average duration for all future visits, changing unproductive time for all future visits, changing the weekday for all future visits, or deleting this job schedule. Doing something like changing the weekday for all the visits remaining after a specific date is as easy as clicking this, picking a new weekday, and hitting update. Now all the visits future to this have changed to Wednesday, and they fall in the same weeks they were supposed to fall based on the original schedule.